All right, good day everyone. Gion from Scholar Squadron Hobbies here, and today we are going to take a very quick look at the newest info from the Transformers TCG Facebook page. Today, they released pictures of another combiner for Wave 2, the mighty Volcanicus. Right off the bat, we can see that while it shares an attack that is on par with Metroplex in Robot and below Predaking by one point, it has a whopping 56 health. That is just insane. Another bit of strangeness is its star cost. I see three tens, a five, and then five single stars, all adding up to 40 entire stars. I don't know what that means for the game exactly at this point, but I expect further news in the future. And after all of that, he still has a very great effect that gives him the potential to deal extra damage on his first combined turn. Volcanicus raises some serious questions about how he's going to actually play, but that just makes him all the more interesting. Next, we look at his individual components. First up, we got Grimlock. Decent stats at 9 stars. Grimlock has 4 attack, 11 health, 0 defense in alt mode, and 4, 11, and 1 in robot. Surprisingly, even though he has better stats in bot mode, that is the mode with the effect. The effect states, when this attacks, choose a Dinobot you own from outside the game. Put it into your KO area in alt mode, fully damaged. Now, does this mean you can just put Dinobots from, like, in your reserve card pile into your scrap pile? Now, I have a theory of how that would work, which I'll mention later. Second is Swoop. He comes in at 7 stars. Stats are 3, 11, and 1 in alt, but 4, 11, and 1 in bot. Again, even though he has better stats in bot, that's a side with an effect. The effect states, after this attacks, put a battle card you flipped this attack that has at least one green pip into your hand. Now, basically that would allow you to retain extra green cards, which I think will come in handy during this wave. Thadley Slug, 8 stars, same stats on both sides with 3, 10, and 3. The effect, however, is once again in bot mode, and it states, When this battles and you flip your first white pip, flip 3 extra battle cards for that white pip instead of 2. Now. That basically allows you to give a potential attack or defense boost when battling, which could come in, you know, pretty much handy. Fourth, we got Slug at 8 stars. Like Sludge, sorry. Like Slug, he has the same stats in both modes with 3, 12, 2 on both sides. And like all combined Dinobots so far, it has an effect in bot mode. And that reads... When this attacks and you have fewer cards in hand than your opponent, draw two cards. So basically giving you extra drawing power. And finally, we have Snarl at 7 stars. Same stats on both sides at 4, 9, and 2. The effect is in bot mode like all other combiner, di combiner Dinobots. And that effect states, when this attacks, plan 2. That is, put up to 2 cards from your hand on top of your deck. Right, so it allows you to use a new planning mechanic to plan for the future. Now, you need five combiners, but you'll notice all of the Dinobots mentioned added together is 39 stars, as, which is way more than 25 star limit. So how can you fit all into your squad? This is where I think Grimlock's ability will come in. Again, grain of salt, right? So I'm thinking, you make your squad however you can, up to 25, and while, but you have to include Grimlock. And while attacking, you add extra bots from outside to your scrap pile. I'm willing to bet that their Enigma of Combination will somehow allow you to use bots from the scrap pile in order to combine and transform into Volcanicus. Right? So, and there you go. Quick vid on today's news. Right? There's something I'm trying just to get news out pretty quickly. And we'll see if this was a success or not. So, everyone, stay safe and fly casual.